Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So this is breaking news and allegedly Meghan Markle is planning on suing page six, which actually released that photo of her carrying her son in a very strange position over her heavily pregnant growing baby bump. Something that I want to say about that photo, which I found to be very weird and kind of a confirmation of the fact that she's not really pregnant, is the fact that we know that baby Archie has always been quite big and he is quite a big toddler and there's no way she could have been able to carry him like that at the same time taking him for a comfortable stroll and being comfortable in that position if she was really heavily pregnant, which highlights that she probably is at it again. She probably is wearing a moon bump again, because how could she have physically had the strength to carry her son, who is not tiny anymore, and gotten round the corner and taken him for a stroll without a carrier or a pram? Doesn't she have a pram? It's all very weird. But besides the point, what I'm going to say is that the firm is now quite scared that she's going to sue them for privacy because we know that that's exactly what she does. She is, well, she claims that she cares about her privacy, but we haven't seen much evidence of that. But it could be the first US lawsuit. So I'm going to get into this article by Newsweek, how Meghan Markle photos with Archie could lead to first US tabloid lawsuit. Photos of Meghan Markle and her son Archie out for a walk in LA were published on page six. That was in Los Angeles. The New York Post's gossip column on Thursday raising questions over whether she will sue the US tabloid. The column published the pictures of the pregnant Duchess of Sussex holding her toddler son on her baby bump, which doesn't make any sense if there really is a real baby in there. In an outing just days after Prince Philip's funeral, Newsweek understands the incident has not gone down well as Meghan and her husband Prince Harry fight a running battle with the media. In the past, the couple have sued over similar images when they forced paparazzi agency Splash News into Chapter 11 bankruptcy of the photos taken of Archie in Canada. Those pictures have been published by British tabloid The Daily Mail. They also sued over drone pictures taken of Archie in LA last summer. The court filings stressed that the couple had left Britain to escape incessant UK tabloid fabrications and highlighted the role of The Daily Mail, a British tabloid, in publicising their exact location. The drone images of Archie were turned down by publications in the UK and the US and eventually appeared in the German magazine Bunte Newsweek, revealed last summer. If Meghan and Harry decide to sue the New York Post or Backgrid, the celebrity photo agency credited in the page six captions, it will mark the first time they have brought a lawsuit over material published by a US news organisation. Amber Melville Brown, a media and reputation specialist at law firm Withers, highlighted some of the hurdles the couple would face under US law, which is designed to give protection when there is an element of harassment, stalking or trespass, but not necessarily otherwise. She said, it may not be fair that we live by the sword and die by the sword or by the lens or the pen, but such is the Faustian pact that many a celebrity may regret at a later stage in their life, having once invited the media devil to dance. There is not very much that Megan can do, however much she may dislike over photos taken on a public street in California, where there is no otherwise harassing conduct and where their publication isn't defamatory or otherwise unlawful. But there is a lot that she can do to keep fighting back over other potentially unlawful incursions into the private life of her family and from every complaint and litigation that she has made and taken to date, it appears that she is intent on doing just that. Backgrid has photographed Harry and Meghan repeatedly over the past year. Archie's face is not pixelated in the page six 
pictures. And when Splash News took similar images, the couple sued. The lawsuit helped force that agency into Chapter 11 bankruptcy, although it was brought under English privacy laws. Mark Stevens of the English law firm Howard Kennedy said Meghan could pursue a privacy case at the High Court in London because Archie was born in Britain and the online article was accessible there. He said, of course, they would have jurisdiction in the UK because Archie is a British citizen and they have a home here. She has a reputation here. They could also sue in America because one of the conventions that virtually every country on the planet has signed is the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, which guarantees the privacy of a child. So I think there is every possibility that they would be able to successfully sue unless Archie was pixelated. Megan sued Splash News over pictures taken in Horth Hill Regional Park in Vancouver Island, Canada, on January 20th, 2020, while she had Archie on her chest in a sling. The UK arm of the agency settled out of court in December, when Meghan's lawyers declared the case was a clear signal that unlawful, invasive and intrusive paparazzi behaviour will not be tolerated. The US division of the agency filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy last month, citing Meghan's legal action as a factor, but said it would continue trading. Meghan and Harry will be under pressure to bring some form of legal action to maintain the line in the sand that they have already drawn around images of Archie published in the British media. Stephen said a successful lawsuit was a very real possibility. He added, they're attempting to make it uneconomic for the paparazzi to sell these pictures because every time they do, they're going to sue them. So there's no market for the pictures anymore. Melville Brown said Megan had demonstrated she was protective over pictures of her child taken without authority. She added, I say without authority because he is not being swaddled altogether in the cotton wool of anonymity. While Archie hasn't been led along the red carpet, as an accessory like the offspring of some celebrities. Images of him have been shared by Meghan and husband Harry, which they have. They've count shared countless images of Archie uh, for their own publicity stunts and for to get their point across. He has been used as fodder. He has been used as an accessory for their own material gain. And I guess that's how they want to keep it. But it just, it's kind of very strange because since she was so fiercely protective of her first child, you would have thought that she would have maintained anonymity and not even shared her miscarriage with us or shared her second pregnancy with us or shared her due date with us. A lot of celebrities do just literally have children in private. They don't bother announcing it. And they keep it all one big secret in order to protect these children. And they don't even announce roughly the birth date or anything, which is, is I guess, you know, it's within their right. I would have thought that Meghan Markle and Harry would have taken this same line and this same stance, but they haven't. Even the way she went out, she wanted to be papped. There was no pram. There was no protection for his face. There was nothing. She was just out there, allegedly heavily pregnant, eight months or whatever she's pertaining to be. And she was just strolling along with messy hair and she was smiling from ear to ear, which means that she clearly wanted to be seen with Archie in her arms. And I just think that it's ridiculous. And they went to the land of paparazzi media invasion and if they do sue page six, if they do sue them, then I don't know. I think it will be another attention seeking law lawsuit, to be honest. I think that they are bringing out these cases for attention. You can see how wasteful they are. Some of this money has come from the funds of Diana. And look at how Harry is spending his inheritance money. Some of it also came from the British taxpayer. And it's going to get pretty expensive running around suing people when you are living in the heart of Tinseltown makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But this is Meghan and Harry we're talking about. So with that being said, I'll be back with another video. Bye, guys.